Chris, Fatima, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Thank you. No problem. Well, congratulations to start off fifth season of Reasonable Doubt. Uh, for anyone out there who's not familiar with the show, give them, you know, a little background. Go ahead, Chris. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Reasonable Doubt, we... It's the simple, most basic answer is we look for, for those that are wrongfully convicted. We look to help those people. But what we do on Reasonable Without is we, we, we are approached by family members who believe that their loved one has been wrongfully convicted. And they are asking those tough questions, whether or not they should keep up with this fight or if they should, you know, find a way to, to move past the, the, the conviction. We, look, we, we use our individual expertise and we let them know yes, your husband, loved one was wrongfully convicted, or sometimes we have to let them know that, no, he's been rightfully convicted and he's right where he or she needs to be. Yeah, and, you know, I know why I'm attracted to series like this. Uh, I have a psychology degree, but what do you think keeps people out there, you know, continuing to tune in? I mean, we're in our fifth season. Uh, it, does it supply some kind of... Uh, I don't know, understanding for the justice system after you guys do all of your investigation. I would think that that maybe plays a part, but what do you guys think? I, I think that right now in our society, there's a lot of, um, you see it all over television, all over social media. People are craving transparency, accountability from institutions, especially our criminal justice system. And so I think what keeps a show like this going is we are here to unveil those things. We're here to show how investigations went wrong by law enforcement himself, you know, Chris. And he can openly say, it should have been done this way. Um, or I'll say an attorney should have brought in that expert. They absolutely should have done this. They failed you. And so what we do is we, we allow somebody in almost as if they're the juror to see how this person was convicted, what evidence they were convicted on, how that could have been faulty evidence. And so people are learning in every episode. And we like to think if this person is a juror one day, they're going to learn so much and understand the tough questions to ask in that deliberation room. And if they just don't believe beyond a reasonable doubt that that person's guilty, they hold out. That one makes the difference. So that's what I think is really drawing people to a show like this. Another thing is you never see you see prosecutors working with law enforcement. You never really see a defense attorney working with investigators, but that's where we're headed hopefully in the future, especially when it comes to reviewing whether or not something's a wrongful conviction. You see integrity units across the country implementing that. And that's what Chris and I have been doing for years. I think that's really important to be able to reach across the aisle and, and work together on things like this. Yeah, I think you make such an amazing point that I never really thought about, you know, this show is just, giving people that information to where if they do become a, a juror and need to know that information or ask those questions, they can kind of refer back to this show and, and say, you know, I saw Fatima asking this question. I don't have all of this information. Maybe there is a reasonable doubt uh, and, you know, can stand up for whoever is being accused. I think that that's, that's amazing. I never even thought about it from that perspective. Mm -hmm. But what most people don't realize is that we can stop wrongful convictions from ever happening if people ask the right questions during the time that the prosecution mm -hmm. happens. It's much harder to get our criminal justice system to go back and say that we made a mistake than it is to correct the mistake before it even happens. Yeah, it, you guys ha both have such extensive backgrounds in this. Have you ever been stumped by a really hard case or kind of you know, just couldn't wrap your mind around around something that you're investigating. We're stumped every episode. <laughs> every episode. <laughs> every episode, there's something, you know, that's going to get us and, and, and confuse us and make us second guess and question. Um, and that's why it's so important to have one another, to balance that, to be able to bring in one another's expertise because we don't have all the answers. We, we may not help somebody who was wrongfully convicted. You know, there's no, we don't have a crystal ball. All we could do is base it on, that's why our experts are so important, who we hire, who we consult, um, and all of the people who help us in the show slowly unravel this case. Yeah, well, I think you guys work 
so well together. And uh, I, I love the series myself. And I know everybody out there is going to love it, especially season five. I, I had a chance to watch the first episode and I am hooked once again. <laughs> so Yay. thank you so much. Yeah, thank both of you for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you.